Well, I've got some bad news to share with y'all. It finally happened. I fainted for the first time. Off screen. From the one and only... The same monster that I uh, basically trash talk for being too easy. He... Yeah. Barioth gave me a pretty good whooping when I was uh, caught in stun. And when I was just, you know, just basically fighting him in a casual manner. I was like, oh shit, I'm stunned. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. However, all's not lost. I only fainted off screen. Not while recording these videos. I think that will probably happen by the time I am about to uh, go head on uh, against the uh, Tyrant of the Desert, Diablos. Now with the Gun Lance, with the Great Sword. This is practically Death Sentence because I'm not really all that skilled with the Great Sword, but I will see what I can do. Because I have got myself the Frozen Spear Tuna. I was going to, uh, um, you know, oh right. I put on an I, I put on an attack I put on an attack decoration on this great sword, thinking it was a spear tuna, but no, there's no slots, so that sucks. Gives me a bit of defense with the uh, type 41 wyvernator thing, but nah. I have a fish. I'm gonna kill this thing with a fish, and I'm pretty sure that uh, Diablos is weak to the ice element, but it could be wrong because the game doesn't tell you. You have to look it up on your own. Anyway, now for the proper greeting. Hello everyone, GBA049 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Blind, episode number 16. You know the drill. We're going after... We're going after the Diablos. And after that, I'm not entirely sure, because I'm pretty sure that, uh... Actually, no, no, no I, I'm pretty sure that, uh... Immediately after this is the urgent of where we, I'm guessing, repel the Cadius. I know. I made sure to become properly repaired before I go head to head against uh, Monoblos's uh, duo twin, the dynamic duo of Monoblos. It's now Doblos, Duoblos, Diablos, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I'm saying too much. I, I'm, all, I'm also starting to line, and I apologize for that. The Horned Wyvern, hunt a Diablos. Let's let's go take a look at the quest info here. Watchtower Sentinel. <clears throat> we guard we guards are so scared we can't go back to work. We guards are so scared we can't go back to work. We spotted a huge two horde beast in the desert. A Diablos! That thing's way too dangerous to wander free. Please deal with it. Please deal with it. My career's at stake here. Alright, sure. You know, I could just be uh, you know, be given the option to repel it because hey, get out of the way. Uh I need to do my job. But nah, just go ahead and kill it. At least you're not gonna go use the materials to make a fucking wooden board out of it or anything. Know what I'm talking about? Must on rise. Hey, see the diablos over there? Yeah, that will go perfect with my business I'm setting up. Oh, that luxurious, fine ivory material of the horn. It's perfect for my wooden. It's perfect for a sign I can make. For, for my. Capitalist scheme. Because why the fuck not? What other reasons do you have besides that? Oh, nothing much. If you decline, I'll call the hunter hunter to hunt you down, hunter. But why? Must be a terrible life to live as a hunter. You're basically doing this against your own will. Or just doing it by, ch but it, it's just just doing it by free choice anyway. All right, let's go take a look if we got everything uh, set up for this hunt. All right, so make a potion armor skin just in case if I'm a little bit too not on the beefy side. Why do I have hot drinks? I'm gonna go uh, store those. Actually, no, I'm gonna go sell those because I'm a little bit too lazy to like uh, put them away and buy, you know. By first declining the quest, and then first declining the quest, and then and then go to my room to deposit them anyway. So goodbye. 125 zenny earned anyway. So 
That is definitely worth it, if I say so myself. And Mega Pick X double double Q spit. For some odd reason, when I was like uh, going through my uh, toolbox, I didn't find, I did not find uh, an option to uh, make uh, Sonic bombs in the combo list anywhere. Maybe I didn't unlock them, but no, I was just looking like uh, I, 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 I was basically searching high and low just to just search for the search for a combination that I recognize that 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 surely makes Sonic bombs, but I just have to make do without them. But, uh, Diablo's the Great Sword. I have no idea what kind of matchup this is going to be like, implying that this is going to, like, uh, result in some kind of, I don't know, fighting game matchup or anything like that. This is kind of how I feel, this is kind of how I feel right now, because, you know, I'm literally just starting to use the Great Sword in 3 Ultimate, and I hardly ever use it anywhere else. Because I'm, I, I basically use it. I basically use the great sword as a filthy casual back in my, uh, back in my earlier days in Monster Runner. Back when I didn't know how skills work. Back when I knew, and, and also back at the time when, uh, when, uh, when armors weren't weren't just for fashion. They were used for skills and for abilities. And I had no abilities the entire time because the insect glaive carried me like a fucking baby. Uh, all the way up to G rank. Isn't that sad? Well, anyway, what's going to be even more sad is that I'm most likely going to get my ass impaled through the wall by an incoming Rampage of Diablos. Just because that I'm using a fish as a weapon. Now, if only, that's, now if only that fish that I have on my back as a Plesioth, then this thing would stand absolutely no fucking chance. Okay, where the hell is that little devil? Also, the reason why I just want, also the reason why I'm, I decided to use great sword is, is just to show off a, a brand new weapon that I've been that I've been wanting to make since the beginning of this beginning of this series. Then again, why the hell did I bring a psycho serum with me in the first place? But when, when all I need to do is just search for the cutscene. Yeah, hindsight, that was probably a that was probably a bad bad decision on my part. But um, yeah. And things are starting to get heat, and things are starting to get heated up. Things are starting to heat up, which means we're getting close to seeing the angry beasts of the desert. Is Diablo a uh, Generation Two monster or Generation One? I'm guessing he's Generation One. Maybe it's third gen because of because because of Freedom Unite. But at any rate, here he is. Making an elusive entrance just like always. And letting out that iconic roar in the entire franchise. More iconic than Rathalos, in my opinion, because, my God, hearing that roar at literally, at, at, at literally any at, at, at any spot you're standing in, it, it'll send chills down your spine. Anyway, let's begin. You're not gonna roar at the right at the bat, are you? Yes, you are. Oh, wait, never mind. He just tricked me. All right, so oh shit. Oh my God. All right, what do you do first? Tail spins. Okay. This was a mistake. Great sword against Diablos. I don't even know it's. I don't even know it's. I don't even. Oh wait. No. Of course I do. No, that wasn't it. Just turn around so I can hit you. Damn it. At least I know how Diablos works somewhat, but uh, says me is a great sword. I'm at a disadvantage here. Where are you at? Where are you going? Hiding like a coward like he usually always is. Alright. Tail swipes. Come the fuck on! Okay, so his tail has a hitbox when he's using his sweeping move. That's good to know. Hey, 
And it's disjointed as fuck. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Thanks, Delex. Oh my god! Surprisingly, that didn't do all that much knockback. I thought it put me in tumble. Nope. I think I got the armor skin. Is he in raise already or is he idle? Turn around, turn around. Now he's enraged. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Ow. Oh my God, that hurt. All right. I call that a body check. Oh, come on. I had to shift his hurt box at the last second when my, when my great sword went. Oh my god! Wait, what? Alright, I forgot. Despite having two horns and being absolutely. F and, and being freakishly gigantic, his charging hitbox is minuscule. You can literally just, like, roll right through it and you can just. Roll right through it like literally nothing happened. Must have been the wind. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be upset with that because hey, anything to make the Diablos a little bit more, you know tolerable. But um It's still it's 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 still really silly that it, that, that that the hitbox is just that non existent. It's not the horns that have the hitbox, it's the face. I don't know why, but it just does. <laughs> I discovered that I discovered that the I discovered that like the very first time when I was dealing with the Diablos and Four Ultimate, it's like, how did that miss? Oh, so that's why. All right. And again. Oh, well, what do you know? I'm actually doing something. I'm actually hitting the bastard. Taking, t taking minimal hits. Are we still in low rank? Oh yeah, and oh, oh yeah, the hitbox is also on the legs. Hello. I'll just chill right here. Take chip damage. Safe fall underneath. I thought I'd get cheese for that. Ow. There's no way in hell I'm in high rank. This is way too freaking sim this is way too freaking standard to be to be high rank. I'm sorry. I mean I, I mean I'm still in like a uh, five star five star That was close. Uh okay. Ow. He's still dealing damage, but not by much. All right, give me your horn. Thank you very much. Holy crap. Uh-oh. And this is where things become a little bit more savage for him. Or not. Hold on a second. I thought it was going to go attack him with his tail because I was behind him. Where are you? Make this a little bit more easy. Ow. <laughs> well, at least I'm not getting one shot yet. Oh my god! The hip check hitbox reaches to the tail. That's good to know. Ow. Tail spin. Generic tail spin will always be generic. Ah, come on. Chip damage. But wasn't careful there. 
All right. I'll just keep it. I'll just keep on attacking his feet. Oops. Thanks for that. My nose itches. I'm sorry, Diablos, but you're making this a little bit too easy for me. Let me give your let me get your other horn while I'm at it. Or tail, why not? Oh, I definitely felt that. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I'm just gonna go after the. I'm just gonna go after the tail. Where did he go? Oh. Oh, okay. He just. He just going to his resting spot. Wait. Wait. Already? There's no way. There is no way he is. All, there's no way he's almost dead after that. Ow. There's just no way. And then again, he is. He is exhausted. So. Let's make, let's make his life... Hey, never mind. He's not, he's not exhausted anymore. Ah, oh, come on. Give me that tail. I want it so bad. Ugh! Ow. That's what, that's what Monoblo seriously does. Is it, a bit, is it a bit of a hot take that I prefer fighting Diablos over Monoblos? I have no idea why, but there's something about Monoblos in 4 Ultimate and just about... And, and, like, I don't know. Every appearance that Monoblos is in, he's more, he's, he's somehow more, more aggressive than Diablos, and I have no idea why. I mean, sure, Diablos charges a lot more often, but there's something a little bit fucking obnoxious of dealing with the, with the, with the Monoblos' horn charge. Probably because he can use it two times in a row whenever he fucking feels like it, and the hitbox lasts, and the range of that attack, especially in White Monoblos' case can reach, can basically <laughs> reach you over a mile away. White Monoblos is one of my least favorite variants in, in, in the entire series, and it is not fun. It is not fun dealing with that bastard. There we go. Sever the Diablos' tail. Up next is the back and the other, and the other horn. Down him, down him, I'm going to get the other hard part. Ouch. Ah, you have no range. I removed it. What you going to do? Are you going to go scream? I'm going to go scream like a banshee. Okay, I have an idea. I'm just, uh... Ha! Or just kill you. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is still low rank. And yet, receiving... Diablo's Fang? I had no idea that was a material. I thought it was just shine, shells, tail case, and horns. But a Fang? I have never seen a Fang before. I've never even heard... I, I, okay, I had no idea. This is brand new to me. I had, I had I had no idea that 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 Diablos's that one of Diablos one of Diablos's materials are its fangs, implying that it's a carnivore. What? That no. How in the hell could Diablos have fangs when it doesn't eat meat? I guess I guess it requires effort to be vegan. I don't know. Well, anyway, Tyrant's been uh, dethroned, or usurped, whatever you want to call it. He's, he, he's been killed. He's been killed. He's murdered. He's gone. He's history. Diablos Ridge, a rock-hard backplate piece that can be used to make equipment if cut properly. Monster Bone Plus, already got that. Diablos Fang, a large, sturdy fang used in everything from weapons to ornaments. Maybe just call it a tooth. I don't know. Barely got anything from this guy, aside from the carves. Is this a constitution charm that I'm looking at? No, it's sense. 
I think sense makes me detect the monster. Like, you know, six cents. It makes me detect it makes me detect it without the use of a paintball. Pretty sure. But yeah, that was that was it. The Elvis has been taken care of. And it did pretty good with the great sword, actually. But uh I don't want to know what it's like to use the great sword underwater because um I'm gonna use the long sword and I'm gonna use the long sword in the next quest. But did I trigger the urgent? That's what I'd like to know. Do, 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 do. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Wait, what? That's it? Okay, which one is the key quest? Heat exhaustion, a bard's tape. Oh no. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Well, um, can I, uh, talk to. Where's the chief? Any information on, uh, on, on the Cadius, or are you still getting things right? Oh, right, I just remembered. I need the materials to, uh, make the, uh, the, uh, base camp first in order to progress. I got it now. Uh, there's a bit of a chance. There's a bit of a, bit of a problem, though. I need a hunt of Giganox first. Yep, I need a Gigan Oxide. Should I use, should I continue to use the Greatsword because of its DPS? I mean, that Diablos practically died in less than four, in less than five minutes anyway, so yeah. Let's go take care of him. I, 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 I'm, I'm still baffled that, uh, that, that there's such a thing as, uh, Diablos Fangs. Either that, or I'm either that, or, either that, or I'm just not, or, or I haven't been paying any attention to to the to the two, to the two three, Monster Hunter games that I've played so far. Anyway, 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 anyway. All right, get some antidotes here. Uh, Psycho Serum would be fine. No, uh, Max Potion, Potion with Bolt, Bolt and Stake, Paintball, Forecaster, Shock Trap. I don't know if that's gonna go do anything. Uh, cleansers. Oh, yeah, I could definitely get any cleansers, I'm pretty sure. I kind of forget, uh, I kind of forget the properties of what, uh, <clears throat> kind of forget the properties of what, uh, Giganox does, aside from poison. A lot. A lot, lot, and a lot of fucking poison to endure. Anyway, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll just put as, like, five cleansers be on the safe side, just, just make sure. And eat for feline defender because I'm not dealing with this shit. Even though I only fought, uh, even though I only fought Giganox once, that first experience was kind of much. Not because of the poison, but because of the uh, range it had with its tail and head. Might as well want to like keep this a little bit more interesting. So uh, I've been wanting to. Uh, talk about uh, the uh, activities that have uh, recently been uh, going on in uh, the Monster Hunter uh, Twitter. Like, months ago, someone uh, made a uh, very interesting um, made a very interesting uh, event that was solely intended for uh, fun entertainment only. Of where people would vote for uh, their uh, favorite monster in a tournament. Vote for your favorite monster to, uh, you know, uh, based on popularity. A popularity poll featuring every single monster that has been released so far or heard of in the series. The idea is extremely fun and I really enjoyed it to the end. However, there were two things that were, um, uh, that kind of, uh, ruined the, um, overall feeling of the event in general, and that, that ultimately made, uh, I think it was, I'm a Misfits? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was the guy that they, they came up with the. No, they came up with the event. Reba was his girlfriend or something. 
ultimately decided to cancel the event. That was the fact that uh, people took the uh, competition way too fucking seriously and personally to the extent of where uh, certain polls were rigged to fucking oblivion. And it was extremely unfair for uh, those who uh, wanted their favorite monster to win. And because of one person, I'm not going to go like a, you know, I'm not going to go like provide any names of, on, on who the people were that did this. But quite honestly, shame on them for doing that. Because it was a chance to like uh, make things, I don't know, official in, in the monster community. But it would have been better if people would just take things, I don't know, like, keep calm and just accept the results no matter what. And also, try not to make things a little bit, I don't know, political, but at the end of the day, there was... The, 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 but, but at the end of the day, the, there had to be just those kinds of people that just decided to take competition way too fucking seriously, and it just... It just... It, it just had to end from... It just had to end from there. It was fun while it lasted. There was two things that I realized on the uh, uh, on the Monster Hunter uh, uh, Monster Hunter community uh, Monster favorite Monster poll tournament. Two things that uh, people take people take uh, you know competition way too seriously, and Frontier just had to accept the fact that uh, the Frontier is, the, the, the Frontier fans are few and far between. And more people need to experience it in order to in order to completely understand and in, in, in order to like to understand the monster and and why and why it's loved so much. Honestly, even though that it was uh, even though that uh, even though that um that, that that some of the polls were, you know, kind of unfair because of uh, for some of them being rigged and all that I still think that uh, I still found uh, the uh, the monster contestants were really silly and meme material like for example one of them was against Haruto Medigu and Ketchawacha surprisingly which is absolutely hilarious to me. Ketchawacha won in a landslide victory. And R2 uh, Ranya, the uh, guy that like uh, uses the uh, Frontier Monster models to make uh, memes out of them. Those are the many highlights in in, in the uh, in, in the tournament on Twitter and it was just a it, it was just a it was just a gold mine of it was a gold mine of silly moments. But the uh Legiacris one was taken way too far. And I, and I also found it funny that Yan Garuga absolutely destroyed Guanzorumu. You know, the king of the, the the king of monsters, king of Elder Dragon, Elder Dragon King, the king himself, won against Scrawbird. The screeching menace. The first generation screeching menace that everyone loathes. Apparently, apparently, people like Yan Garuga more than uh, than, than Guanzorumu, and it's like Huh. Well, uh, I guess those are the results. Also, Royal Ludroth nearly won against uh, Sharius Volda by like one percent, and I was, I was like, "This is this is beautiful." Some of the monster combinations were just were just comedy gold, and I just want and I was just like, you know, curious to see like uh, in more interesting combinations that'll just like uh, make the event more ten times more fun and entertaining, but. The one thing that the, the one thing that I the, the, the one thing that, that that I was like curious to like uh, curious to find out the most is who will be the ov which monster will be the overall winner in the popularity. Okay, in terms of popularity, which is the most uh, which is the which monster is the most popular according to the community? That would have been so exciting if the tournament actually if the tournament actually continued. I'm, if I had to guess, I'm almost positive that Legiacris would have won. Because that guy, okay, th 
<laughs> because that because that creature that creature flagship of Monster Try and also my um uh nick um, my uh, dub nickname King Ludgy is loved by so many doesn't take much to understand why because the design is perfect the fight is perfect the uh, the, the representation as a flagship is perfect and the skeleton and, and, and the attacks it just I, it's straightforward without a doubt I'm, I'm without a doubt I'm fairly I'm fairly positive that the, the, the guy Chris would have won the entire tournament And that uh, Frontier would, ha and, and that unfortunately Frontier would not, Frontier would not have, st would, would not have stood a fuck, would not have, would not stand a fucking chance. Because nuts, there's still, there's still a lot of, there's still a lot of people that do not know about its existence. Anyway, back to reality. Facing the uh, Kezu Tapeworm that I do not like fighting because which is safe and what is and, and w when is it safe and when is it not safe to attack Giganox? You practically don't know. Oh my God! Well, at least I haven't died yet. All right, let's go make this. Let's go make this easier. Uh oh! Don't do it! 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 Don't you fucking do it! Are you immune to electricity? Can you get, can you get into the shock trap? Are you vulnerable by one? Nope. You can get hit by it. Excellent. All right. Hold still while I hit. Oh, never mind. Oh, for fuck's sake. Quit being such an annoying little pancake and fight me. Ha ha. Uh, I should probably get rid of that giggy nest. It's impossible. It's literally impossible to tell of which... Uh, on, uh, on which part is its head, which part is it, and which part is its tail. Interesting monster design. Interesting monsters. Interesting, interesting monster design. But it makes hit zones infuriating. Curious to know what Baleful Giganox is like. What its gimmick is. Ow. Other than poisoning a lot. Maybe this guy wasn't 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 meant for the great sword. Not clearly not. He keeps fucking moving around. Yeah, it just keeps on fucking he, 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 it's his own just keeps on freaking chasing. It goes from it goes from tail to head, head to tail, and they always keep on. They, 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 the head just at, at, at one point you're attacking the head, and all of a sudden the tail becomes a head, and the head becomes a tail, and it's like, what the fuck am I? What, how do I do this? Is that its tail? What? This is so confusing. I can I can barely tell. Maybe that's its head. I can't. Oh my god. You're one fascinating creature, Geganox. I prefer Kezu. Hot take, but that's just how I feel. Now that's still its tail. What the fuck? Oh, hello. All right, turn around. Come the fuck on. 
Alright, no more running away. Time to play a little bit more risky. Oh my god. Why did I have to stick to the great sword in this episode? Ugh. I just wanted to have some more variety in this series. Let me just, uh... Don't roll to the right. Don't roll to the right. Bye, never mind. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, that was nice. Ah. You're, you're safe behind him when you, when, when you, when he uses that move. Shit. Well, at least a poison doesn't damage you. It only just, it only just poisons you. Like, barely, oh, Gigi, get the fuck off of me. Stupid fucking parasite. Uh-oh. Oh my god, this this fight takes takes way too long to finish. Yeah, I'd be annoyed too. Oh my god. This monster is not fun to fight. I'm sorry. Is more confusing than is, is, is this monster is more confusing to fight than it is to than it is to you know I don't know deep like endure the fight. I can barely tell what the hell is going to do because because again it's a tail head it's a tail head situation. Is it its tail? Is it its head? Oh my god! I can't even imagine what this fight would be like when you're using a fucking hammer. Aha! He's limping. About time. I swear to God, if I do not get a single hide in this quest, I might as well just quit. There's no way in hell that I'm going to, like, uh, spend, like, an extra hour in, in this episode just trying to get one fucking material from this fucker. Not going to happen! Oh, come the hell on. Why'd you, why'd you have to get enraged now? Oh, he knows my moves. He knows my every move. Oh, oh like hell you do. And I'm still... And, 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 weapon sharpness hasn't, hasn't gone down yet. Surprising. Alright, I, I guess I'll just continue. I guess I'll just... Ow. Attack the arms... For fuck's sake. Just hurry up and die already. I don't have time to deal with you. I have no idea what I just broke, but uh, thank you. Ow. To any non-veterans of Three Ultimates... If you want to know what Giganox is like, Kezu, but worse. Oh my god. It'd be better if I had the gum lance on me. But no, I just had I, I I just had to keep things slow and prolonged. Don't do it. Come on, he's fucking limping. He should be dead by now. Thank you. All right. Let's go. Let's go try to get ourselves lucky and get a hide. Uncanny hide. Uncanny hide. What the hell is that? Uncanny hide. Hide the chain's color when its owner was still alive. Collectors value it. Giganox Claw. Um. Velvety Hide, but. Wait a second. 
Did I hunt the wrong monster? I hope not. Yep, got it. Venom gland, Ganganox hide, uncanny hide. I guess that's a uh, rare item. Rare drop from Giganox. Eh, not, not like it's going to be useful for anything because, unfortunately, Giganox armor is worthless. Well, in the lowest ranks, anyway. It's just, I, 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 I still don't know if I'm still in low rank or high rank, but... Got the materials I need, and now we can uh, continue on with the story. But I'm not going to immediately, like, go straight to uh, the objective to... Uh, encounter the Seadius just yet. This is a warm-up investigation. All right. Let's give... Let's give with all Junior needs, and we can continue. You're one of the good ones, Hunter. This is top-notch material. <clears throat> we should be able to build a base camp that'll stand up to any natural disaster with this stuff. Last thing I want is for some monster to... Last thing I want is for some monster to tear this place down again. You do your job, Hunter, and I'll do mine. I haven't felt this fired up about working forever. I just pray the sea dragon stays far away while we're working. Right then, we'll head out as soon as everything's ready. Let's go take a look at uh, the... Let's go talk to the guild sweetheart. <laughs> you can't fool me. I know you've decided to tackle the sea atheist yourself. You do know that the guild can revoke your license if you go against orders. You won't be able to go to hunting grounds or use base camps or get info on monster, on monster locations or fix weapons. And the money! There goes your income. Heck, there goes your transportation too. And yet you still want to do it? Oh, who am I kidding? Of course you do. You need to know though, the guild's decision is based on solid intel. They're not just, they're not just overreacting. They've seen the dragon and they know what, and they've seen the dragon and they know what it can do. And just like they said, the Seadius is way too much for 100 to go. Is way too much for 100 to take on in a fair fight. If, if you want to drive it off, you'll need the you'll need the help of the entire village. So the first step is to gather the chief and the villagers and get everybody on the same page. If they're all like, "No way, let's mow this popsicle stand," I, 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 the stupid freaking stupid freaking font always confusing me. Mm. If they're all like, no way, let's blow this popsicle stand, then you have to promise to go along with it. Understood? What the hell happens if I say no? Oh, stop being a stupid head and just say I promise so we can move on. <laughs> For now, you should keep hunting as usual. We need the, we need the guild to, th this, to, to think the situation isn't as bad as it looks. Follow? It's not lying, exactly. It's just perpetrating... A, it's just perpetrating a misunderstanding. I'm an honest woman. I'm an honest. I'm an honest woman, you know. Well, so much for anyone that wanted to see oh, the option on what happens when you say yes, because I've seen it a million times when they when they restart the when they restart their save file. Honestly, why would you do that? This isn't a Pokemon game. Denison of the Molten. Oh God, no. Maybe next time, salty clacker. Maybe next time. Someday, but not today. Fuck you. Ergon. Another Rathalos. And more quests that we have unlocked. Well, we're not ready just yet. We still got some more. We got, still got some more quests to do. Either hunt the king of being annoying the Vengeance Quest of Rathalos, Uragon, or Thanos Monster, as I call him, and the Salty Clacker Agnoctor. I don't know which one, I don't know which one to choose first. Uragon. I'm gonna go fight Uragon next. Alright, so, uh, Uncanny Hide, which is most definitely uncanny, because I never got that material before, I don't think. Antidotes, uh, Potion, Mega Potion, Pitfall Trap, Gonna get everything ready for the next hunt. And I'm gonna use a long sword for this. Gonna go keep on attacking its uh keep on tip keep on attacking its feet and poke its tail and uh break its chinny chin chin and uh whatever else I wanna do to uh, just basically carve that thing into next week. I don't care what anybody says, but Urgon's a pretty fun monster to fight in my opinion. 
It's the Gravio specialty. You hit it until it gets weak and crippled. It's extremely durable, very hard to break, but once you do break apart, just go all aggressive. Just go all out. It's no there's, the, 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 there's nothing it can do. Just be careful that you don't get that they don't get that you don't get pulverized and you, you, you don't get hit by the pulverizing pancake. The hammer slamma, the good old hammer slamma from the Uragon. Also, there's uh two um subspecies, or is it is it subspecies or variants? I don't know the difference. Two other species of Uragon in this game. There is a steel Uragon and um, wait, maybe there is no other species of Uragon in this game. It's just normal Uragon and steel Uragon. And I'm pretty sure that the variants and subspecies are high rank, uh, okay. Subspecies are high rank and variants are G rank. So I'm pretty sure Glacial Ignoctor is a variant and, uh, Abyssal Legaicris is a, also, is also a variant. Ivory Legaicris is a, is a subspe- I don't know the difference. It sounds the same to me. All right, uh, Volcano, obviously. Let's gonna go get ready for the next episode, if you don't mind. Let's see, make a potion, make a potion, cool drink, max potion, each potion will then stake. And I believe we're good. And just in case I want to capture this guy. Here we go. Oh, uh, right. Um... Switch to the long sword. Thunder clap. Now, if only I had a second uh, decoration slot, so I can have attack up medium. But I don't have that, so uh, now to conclude the end of this episode for right now, and I hope to see you again in the next one where we fight the Uragon. And uh, I don't want it to be the case. Ignoctor. I'll be looking forward to that because I'm 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 mainly looking forward to the former, that aim with the latter, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So far, I've not died a single time on screen, just yet. Just just it's just that the first death was very embarrassing, and I clearly wasn't paying attention. I mean, I kept on mashing L to make sure that it wasn't taking enough damage, but by the time when I got up uh, and and like you know, pinned against a wall by Barioth, I got stunned. It's like oh god. Well, this is it. Well, guess I'll die. That's it. I give up. Well. Also, uh, I did pretty good using the greatsword in this episode. Just wish that the Giganox was more cooperative. But, eh. To be to be honest, I'm not really looking forward to fighting Beowulf Giganox after fighting normal one because I just I, I I just I, I just don't like fighting it. I just don't like fighting Giganox. I don't hate the guy. I just not. I'm. I, I'm just not. I'm just not fond of. I'm not just not fond of fighting it. Maybe I'm still learning, but I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. This is GBA 049 signing out, going offline, and see you next mission.